Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my newborn essentials and must-haves. These are all the products that I just love and I swear by. I've used them for a couple months now and I just I think they are amazing so I wanted to share them with you. Um, I know that I watched tons of newborn must-have videos when I was pregnant just to be prepared and I did lots of research and looked up reviews. So I hope that the stuff that I'm about to share with you will help some of you guys out. These products are just things that Cam ended up loving. Um, and so, of course, not all babies are going to love all of the same products, but I swear by it. So if you're interested in seeing my newborn must-haves, then just stay tuned and let's jump right in. Okay, so first I'm going to be talking about changing pad liners. So this is different than changing pad covers. Obviously your changing pad needs a changing pad cover. But I also picked up changing pad liners. So the liner goes on top of the changing pad cover. And I know it's a lot, but trust me, you need these. These are a lifesaver. If you put the baby on the changing pad cover and you go to change the baby and you get poop or pee all over the place, you've got to go ahead and wash your changing pad cover. And changing pad covers can be pretty pricey. I only have two. Um, and so, you know, I wash them and I go back and forth between the two, but I can leave my changing pad cover on there for a while before it gets dirty because of these. So I have, I think I own about six or seven changing pad liners and I bought them in a pack. I believe I bought them on Amazon and I don't remember the name of them right now but I will list everything that I talk about today down below for you to check out. So these are just, um, I think these are like a terry cloth material and these liners are amazing. Cam has had some major poop explosions let me tell you and these always save the day. They're just lifesavers. I highly recommend having changing pad liners on top of your changing pad cover. My next newborn necessity are zippered PJs with footies. So when I first had Cam, I didn't have any of these. I had some PJs that like snapped, um, but I really didn't have any ones that zipped with the feet. So Cam's feet always get cold. They're just cold, tiny little toes. And when I put socks on him, they just don't fit. He has small feet. Either he'll kick them off or they'll fall off on their own. And his feet will be freezing. So I love putting these PJs on him at night. The footies just help so much because they're attached to the PJs so they can't come off. They make his feet really warm. And the zipper is just so convenient because when you go to change the baby in the middle of the night, you're so tired, you don't feel like unbuttoning all the buttons and then like trying to see in the dark and buttoning each one back up. Um, I keep the room pretty dark when I change him just so he doesn't really wake up. Um, so the zipper really helps. You can just unzip all the way down to the foot, open up, change him, and then all you have to do is zip him back up and he's good to go. And it's just so much more convenient and much quicker. The next newborn necessity that I want to talk about is his Halo Sleep Sack. You guys have probably heard about these before. Um, I put this on my registry because it had amazing reviews and so I just wanted to try it out and I love it and Cam loves it too. So when Cam sleeps in his bassinet, you're not really supposed to put blankets in the bassinet because they're a suffocation hazard. So you don't want to put anything extra in the crib or in the bassinet well, or in the bassinet while the baby is sleeping. But I don't want him to be cold, so he will have, you know, a onesie on, then I'll put his PJs on him, and then I will put him in his sleep sack. So it's just a wearable blanket. And it's big like this. And they can wear this. It says from birth to six months or from ten to eighteen pounds. So I didn't use this until he was about ten pounds. Um, but you just unzip it and it doesn't really come undone at the bottom. It stays together because it's a blanket essentially. You put the baby in here, you put his arms through the little holes and then you just take the zipper and then you zip it back down and his feet will just be in this blanket and it can't suffocate him because he's wearing the blanket. Um, 
and then there's armholes so usually I will put PJs on him that have long sleeves so his arms don't get cold but this is just great because it keeps him warm and he can't suffocate so highly recommend the halo sleep sack and they have all different colors and prints they have for boys they have them for girls I got the cute football one because Cam's gonna be a little football player someday next plain old white onesie this is the Gerber onesie and I have so many of these I asked for a ton of them um, on my registry all different sizes this one is just the zero to three months but he also wears the three to six months so I just have a bunch of just plain white onesies because he wears white onesies under everything under his PJs under his outfits for the day I always have a white onesie underneath because I just want him to be warm and I use them kind of like an undershirt I guess you could say so plenty of these plus when he does poop and it explodes inside his you know outfit or his PJs it gets on this first and usually just this gets ruined and not the actual outfit so these are just really easy to wash and I just think they're a good idea to put this on the baby first my next newborn essential is this Burt's Bees bib these are amazing. I have so many different bibs. I have really cute, trendy, like bandana bibs, and then I've got just like old, regular snap bibs. But I'm telling you guys, these are amazing. And I know I talked about this in my um, What's in My Diaper Bag video, but real quick, this is just so comfy on cam. It just stretches over his head. There's no snap, so it won't be uncomfortable around his neck and you just stretch it over the baby's head and you can take it off easy, you can put it on easily. 100% organic, it's super soft, super easy to wash. So I don't have anything bad to say about these bibs. They are my absolute favorite so far just because I know they're so comfortable around his neck. If he's in his car seat with a bib on, anywhere he is, he's not gonna be uncomfortable because there's no snaps, no Velcro. I have a couple of them and I wanna get more because I really love them. The next newborn essential that I want to talk about is this Honest Dish Soap. So I love the Honest Company. I use tons of their products for Cam. Um, but this dish soap I actually use for lots of different purposes. I use it for his bottles and his pacifiers and things like that. But I also use it for his clothes. And it works wonders. And I, I don't know where I came up with this. I just one day grabbed it and started using it for his clothes. And the stains came right out. So... For example, if he has one of his explosions in his diaper and it gets on like his onesie, um, I'll take off his onesie, I'll put it in the sink, I'll rinse it in cold water, and then I will take this Honest Dish Soap and I will just pour it over the stain and I will just take my hands and just kind of rub it in there. I'll just take, you know, whatever, the onesie, and I'll just kind of like rub it together where the soap is real good. I'll rinse it under the cold water and voila the stain like literally disappears. I know this is not meant to use on clothes, but I randomly grabbed it one day and it worked wonders and I'm obsessed. And then what I do is I, you know, let it, I hang dry his onesie or whatever had the stain on it and then I throw it in the wash with Honest Company detergent. I also use Honest Company detergent, which I absolutely love too. Next, I wanna talk about bottles. This is the Dr. Brown's bottle and this is just the big one. It's the eight ounce bottle, but I also have the four ounce bottles too. Um, Cam has lots of gas issues. Lately he's been much, much better. He might be like growing out of his gas issues, but at first, the first couple months, I'm telling you, he would just cry after he ate because of the gas. And I've tried so many different things, but these bottles really were a game changer. At first I had the Tommy Tippy bottles and I still use those here and there. And there's nothing wrong with them, but he just was so gassy and when I read up on the Dr. Brown's bottles and how they really helped with gas um, I just tried I had to try them out plus my friend highly recommended them she used them with her baby and it worked wonders for her so I tried them with Cam amazing these bottles really really do help I really don't know how they work so I don't want to get into it but as you can see there's like this filter inside and it does something and it helps with I don't know it helps keep air out, I guess. So when he's drinking and he's sucking on the bottle nipple, he's not getting much air in with the milk. I don't really know. I don't know. You can look it up if you're interested, but um, these bottles are amazing for babies who have gas and stomach issues. 
The next newborn essential I want to talk about is gripe water. We usually give him gripe water before he goes to bed. Um, again, we give it to him because he has some stomach discomfort. Um, and it just helps him, like, it's just soothing, I think. This gripe water is the Mommy's Bliss Nighttime Gripe Water. It says it's safe and natural, and it relieves occasional stomach discomfort from gas, fussiness, colic, or hiccups. And Cam gets the hiccups, like, every single day. Um, this is the nighttime formula, and it's for one month plus. Um, and I use a bunch of different gripe waters. I have, like, a bunch of different brands, and I like all of them. I just grabbed this one. But this one is the nighttime formula because it says that it has um, chamomile and lemon balm um, to promote restful sleep. So it's nice to give him this right before he goes to bed so he kind of is just more calm and can sleep through the night. The next product that I want to talk about is the Frida Baby Nose Frida, which is the snot sucker. So this is kind of weird and when I explain how you use it, it's kind of gross, but I'm telling you, you do not get any boogers in your mouth. Don't worry. So it's just this little device that literally sucks the boogers out of your kid's nose. It looks like this, and it comes with different filters, but all you do is you put this tip right where the nostril is of your baby, and then you put this red part in your mouth, and you suck. And it literally sucks the boogers out of your child's nose, and it is amazing. Cam has the tiniest, cutest little nostrils ever, but I can't stick my finger in his nose. My fingers are way too big, and plus it's kind of unsanitary to do that. Um, and, you know, he's got boogers in his nose, and I don't want to leave them there. You know, it makes his nose stuffy. He can't breathe, and plus they just bother me. So you got to get those boogers out, and this thing is amazing. I'm telling you, it works wonders. The boogers just suck. There's a filter, so they get stuck in here. They don't go through the tube and get into your mouth. Um, <laughs> so don't worry, but it really does suck them out. I've used this a million times already, and it's just amazing. That's all I can say. You got to try it. Next, I want to talk about pacifiers. So my favorite pacifiers are the MAM pacifiers. It's M-A-M. I don't know if they're just called M-A-M pacifiers or MAM pacifiers, but that's the brand, M-A-M. And I got mine from Bye Bye Baby. I have about four or five of them. Um, they look like this. And they have different prints and stuff on the front, but I'm just showing this one. And then the back looks like this. And the reason I like these pacifiers is because they don't fall out of his mouth. I've tried so many other ones where he'll suck on them and he just, I don't know if he can't like grasp them or I don't know what the problem is, but they'll just fall out. These MAM pacifiers, they really stay in his mouth and he just seems to like, like them the most. So I have a bunch of different ones and... And yeah, I really like these. I also want to talk about a pacifier clip. This is just the Chico pacifier clip. I got this from Bye Bye Baby. These things are awesome. You can just clip it on your baby's shirt or wherever you want. And um, if the pacifier falls out of his mouth, it's not going to fall on the floor and get dirty. It's just going to fall onto, you know, his shirt area. And it'll be fine to reuse. So... When we go, so when we're at home, I usually don't use a pacifier clip, but if we go out like to the doctors or just go out anywhere and he and I put a pacifier in his mouth for the ride, then I will use his pacifier clip and it's great. Okay, my next newborn essential is the Aiden and Ana. I don't know how to pronounce that brand, but I, you know what I'm talking about. It's um, Aiden and Anice, Anace. Um, Blanket. So these are the breathable muslin blankets. I have a ton of these, and they are amazing. I'm not kidding. You can use the you can use these blankets for so many different things. We swaddle Camden in these blankets. I use them just to keep him warm on the car ride. Um, they're breathable, so if it does cover his face, I don't think it can suffocate him. I mean, that's what I assume breathable means. But they're just really lightweight, so soft, so easy to throw in the wash. I love these blankets. Like, these are by far my favorite baby blankets that I have. Last but not least, I want to talk about my favorite baby product that I have. Like, the absolute best newborn essential ever. You need this in your life, I'm telling you. Works wonders. It's amazing. Your baby will love it. You need it. And I know I've probably mentioned this before, but it is the Boppy Lounger. This thing is just so great. I can't say enough good things about it. 
So it looks like this. And the baby just fits so nicely in it. He's so snug and so comfy. It's so soft. I literally put him in this all the time. Like if I need to run to the bathroom, he's in his lounger. If I just need to go run to the kitchen to heat up a bottle, he's in his lounger. If I'm trying to get him to fall asleep and he's not comfortable in his bassinet, I put him in his lounger and he falls asleep. This thing is amazing and he loves it. So, and it's just so lightweight. You can carry it with you if you're going over to a friend's house or a family member's house and you're bringing your baby. You can throw this in the car and bring it with you. Um, I usually have it on the couch and I put him in it when we're on the couch. I don't leave him in it on the couch alone because I don't want him to like fall off. So I'm always watching him if he's in it like on a higher surface. Um, but it's amazing. I just, I freaking love this thing. So yeah, that is it for my newborn essentials and must-haves. I highly recommend all of the stuff that I talked about today, and I can't say enough good things about all these products. So again, I will list everything down below if you want to go check it out. Don't forget to subscribe, and please give it a thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks again, guys. Bye.